All right guys, welcome back to Channel Hitter Day. Brandon back with another car review. Today we are at Rick Henrik Chevy GMC Buick in Short Pump, Virginia for a review of the 2020 Corvette 3LT. This is just a normal Stingray, but it is a top of the line 3LT Stingray with lots of cool options features. We're gonna walk around the outside, do a little bit of the inside, and then we're gonna take it out for a drive and give y'all my overall experience. So hope y'all enjoy. Let's go ahead and hop into the 2020 Corvette C8. So as we start from the front, work our way around like we always do. Up front, we start in the corner with the headlights this time. I know I said taillights last time, but headlights. You got the awesome LED design going down there. Come to the lower end, you have the plasticky front lip. You have the carbon splash, side grill, main grill. When you come up here, same proportions, come on to the side. As we come to the side, you have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's all the way around in the rear. Up here, you have a 245 35 19, and in the back, we have a 305 30 20. So you get that different size tire. Over here, you get the carbon flash side fin. As we come to the back, you have the carbon flash high spoiler, which I really, really, really love this one. This is my favorite spoiler design on the C8 so far. That and then the Z51 spoiler next to that. But you come back here, you have the awesome C8 taillights with the cool design. When we unlock the car, very cool. Once again, carbon flash rear grill right here down with the carbon flash diffuser. You get the quad exhaust over here. And then if you get the Z06, you get quad center exit exhaust. But yeah, that rear spoiler is incredible. I've always loved the way the look of it. Then for the roof, you get the uh, carbon roof on this model, but you can also option it with the body colored. Like, so this paint is Arctic white. You can also get the Arctic white roof piece or you can get like a solar tinted, a see-through glass roof that goes here as well. So up front you get the uh, 19 inch wheels with the eight and a half inch width. And then in the back you come to a 20 with an 11 inch. So you can fit the wider rear tire on here. Then there's your parking brake right there. You have the red brakes on this model. Up here, this one has the Z51 package on it. This wheel design is really cool as well. I've always been a fan of this design and I think it looks really, really well. Also, something that many of y'all might know, this car takes like the mirror designs from the LaFerrari. So if you stand right here, you can see that that mirror is a lot closer to the body than this mirror is. This mirror sticks out a lot further therefore making it easier for you to see out the mirror past the, the back end of the car with the wide hips. That's a really cool thing that these cars come with. Then you have a front trunk and not many people know this about the C8. There is a button right here that you can push and it opens the front trunk. Not many people know there's a button right there under the front grill. And then you have a pretty good amount of space in here. You have a 12 volt plug right there. There's your escape hatch. Up here is where you put your washer fluid. Down here, pretty good amount of space. And then you just pull it in, shut it nice and carefully, boom. And then as we work our way to the back of the car, obviously you have the window right here that you can see the engine. You got the vents here. It would be so cool if they would make those in carbon. And then. Up there you have your rear camera for the rear view mirror. We'll get in that in just a second. But all right, right here, push this button. We'll open the trunk. Let y'all get a good look in there. So obviously 
you have this big back section right here for you to put. You can put a lot of stuff in here if you need to. Your roof, when you have your roof off during the summer, it pops in right here into here and latches in. Back here you have the 6.2 liter LT1 making 495 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. You have, this car has the engine appearance package which comes with the red engine cover. You have the carbon fiber engine package so you get the carbon uh, panels right here. You get the lights there as well as part of the engine appearance package. And it just looks really pretty down here. And when you're driving, you look in the mirror, all you see through the back window is the red engine cover. It looks so sick. And then if you put the trunk down, you lower it nice and easy. I'll set it right there, come to the side. It does have soft close. So if you just push it down a little bit, it will fully close itself the rest of the way. Super, super cool. Let's go ahead, hop in the car and talk about the internals. Obviously, right here you start the door. We have the Bose audio system in here. We have the carbon fiber interior package. So you'll notice some carbon throughout the whole car. You have it there, right here along the gauge cluster. The other door panel right up in here. That's about it. You have your button to open the door right here. Down here is your trunk button and your hood button. As we turn to look in the car, this car has the competition seats in it and they they look amazing, they feel amazing. You have this like cloth with leather right here and then the suede Alcantara center with the carbon fiber top right here. Very cool, you have the Corvette logo up in the headrest, red seat belts. They do make, they have a lot of interior color options for these cars and some of them look incredible. Like the white with the red, full red interior looks insane. Let's go ahead and hop on in the car. Start her up. There's that camera rear mirror we were just talking about. But then if you flip this down, it turns into just a regular mirror. Pull it back up and then your buttons right here will adjust like the height. With the exhaust, it does have an active exhaust system on it as well. So when you're in normal mode, it'll sound quiet and more tame. And then you put it in a track mode or as this car has it, Z mode. When you put it in Z mode, it wakes it up. It sounds a lot better and it's very aggressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some clips in here of the car revving in quiet mode and then track mode. in the car now we're self-situated and we're feeling it out so right off the bat you have this awesome Alcantara suede box styled steering wheel I love the flat top flat bottom you have your horn right here heated seats Bluetooth phone call how you can scroll through your settings up here you have your favorites so your presets over here you have your cruise control settings and then you have the infamous Z mode so you click on that, right off the bat, I heard the engine sound change. It opened up into the red gauge cluster where now you have all these lap timer stuff, you have fuel economy. Now that we're in Z mode, we have the performance uh, gauges up here. So we have the zero to 60 timer. And if you click over, you have your audio systems, your engine and fluid oil life your display there we go so now we can change the display now that will change your heads up display up here and you have your sport display there you go now it's all completely changed now we're in the track display so let's go ahead and take a look through some of these let's see what the tour one looks like okay pretty normal pretty pretty basic the, that one is the red for the tour, but I think track is probably the best looking one out there. You have the awesome RPM gauge going across the top. You have your gear. Over here, you can configure these boxes with a bunch of different things, which look really cool. 
All right, so now we are on the tile screen. So that controls over here. So like right now, looks like there's the accelerometer for G-Force going side to side and front to back. You have that and you have your oil temp. So if we keep scrolling down here, you can see battery voltage, your rear differential, fuel economy, lateral G-Force. We'll go ahead and add oil pressure up to that top corner. Then you can have trans fluid down there, your tire status. I could see how on the track, that would be very important, but also that, if that showed your tire heat, it looks like it does in the, just by color, but if it showed the physical temperature, that'd be amazing. I think we'll go with trans fluid, and then you back out of that menu, and then you have your typical normal like unit display, speed warning, tire pressure, heads up rotation, software and stuff like that. So all cool features that we, they have in this car. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, so now when I exit Z mode, it will switch the gauge cluster back to the normal one. We come over here, you have your park, reverse, neutral, drive, then your manual mode. So when you're in drive, you push down on the M and now you're in full paddle shifter mode. Then you have your mode button here so you can adjust between like track mode, sport mode, without having to like physically use Z mode. So it just adjusts like the way the car drives, but when you go into Z mode on here, it actually like physically changes like the engine sound, the steering feel, suspension feel, I guess how much power you're putting down and then you have your brakes that you can change. You have the option of tour, sport and track in every setting. So you go in here, obviously Z mode would be like your track setting. You just click the button and boom, you're, you're ready to go. Then there's also a my mode that I guess you can go and change. There's your engine sound where you can change between stealth, tour, sport, and track. And you got your steering feel, your suspension, brake response, once again. Then right here you got the home button and a volume knob. That's about all the physical buttons you get for the screen. Everything else is just swipe array. Here's your PDR. So when you open the PDR, you can see the overlay. Like we can go with timing, we can preview it and boom. Now there's a preview of what it looks like when you're driving. So if you see those videos of like people in their Corvettes and their Camaros and the racetracks with the on-screen thing, this is what it looks like. And you can definitely go through here and you can change like a sport preview where that's just like, you get your G-force, your mile per hour, how far you've driven, and then your RPMs down here. And it very accurately goes with the vehicle. I think the track one is nice as well. If you're, this one shows you like your steering angle. So like when I turn the wheel, it is adjusting my steering, the G-force, the track. Then right here, you have your brake and gas graphics. So you can see how much brake you're putting, how much gas you're putting. Very cool stuff. Along with the mode button right here, you have your traction control. You have your front lift. The vehicle has front lift like most supercars do where you can, if you come to like a speed bump or a curb, or whatever that you need to clear or low driveway, just push that vehicle will raise. You can hear it and then you push it again and then the vehicle starts to lower. And next to the front lift, you have your front camera once you open that, you get multiple angles of what you want to look at. You have like, this is the back camera. This is a wide angle rear camera. This is zoomed in from like the top front of the car. So you can see the front splitter. Then you have your three angles. So you have one on that corner, one on that corner, and then one dead front. And then that takes away the line or adds the line. Very cool stuff. Here's your home screen. You have your navigation. And as we come over here, you have the AC controls. You come down, let's say you control. Uh, this top half is driver's side. This bottom half is passenger side. So right here, your main like control buttons, your, which air you want the air to come from, your fan speed, on, AC, on or off, your recirculation, defrost, rear defrost. And you have the heated and cooled seats for the passenger side. And up here, you have the heated and cooled seats for the driver's side. And as you can see, the vents are very tiny vents going all the way across. This button right here will be your glove box. That falls down. You have a fail safe in the car too. This button right here is for if that button doesn't work or the battery's dead and you can't get out, you will pull that 
and then the door opens to allow you to escape. Up here you have your garage door opener, you have your OnStar buttons, and your reception. The roof has a really cool design on it too. In order to get the roof off, you would pull that out, that out, and then that, and then the roof just pops off. You put it back there in the trunk behind the engine, and then you're good to go. Right here in the center, you have a wireless charging port. If you're so lucky enough to have a phone that fits in it, I do not, well actually I do, but oh, there it goes. It is now working. So you have your wireless charging port right here in the middle between the seats. Great access for the driver and passenger. Once again, competition seats. Got your cup holder here with the folding door. Door to enter the center consoles right here. Navigation, SD card, USB, aux port. Not too much in there, but very cool. You have your lights right here for the interior. Here is the key to the car. You have your lock button, your unlock button, your remote start. You have two time for the hood, two time for the trunk engine cover, your alarm. If this was a convertible model, there would be a button here to open the, door, the top on the convertible, and there would be a button on the key to lower the top with, from the key. One other cool thing is also, if you're in gear, and you pull both paddles it's kind of hard to do with the camera in my hand i can show you when we're actually driving on the road but if you hold both paddles it puts it into a neutral mode for you to like rev it kind of like a supercar most supercars ha let you do that so it's very cool very supercar ish and i honestly i'm a huge fan of the c8 i think this car is great i fit really well on this car if you're taller you might have any some struggles but because i'm so short i can just easily get in and out of this thing no problem at all like door open i just kind of hop out and we're out boom and then to get in same thing just walk in boom 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 in door closed and we're locked and loaded so very easy for me to get in and out of if you're taller bigger heavy set these seats are not big person friendly so but the the regular c8 seats are really nice but Height wise, if you're tall, you might have a struggle getting in and out because of the low car and the wide uh, door frame. Let's go ahead and grab the GoPro, throw it on the head strap, and let's go for a drive and see how this thing rides on the street. All right, y'all, we are in the C8 now. I'm about to go take a little short drive, see how it goes. So right now we're just in normal mode in full auto so it's doing everything on its own looks like it's shifting about like 1900 2000 rpms in normal mode steering feels pretty good you got a nice little lower that down you got a nice little armrest right here So normal mode feels good. Let's go ahead and put it into Z mode. Everything changes. Now you have the cool new uh, thing. It shifts a lot higher, so I'll go ahead and throw it in manual mode. Now you're in full control. And of course it's gonna start raining now. So like I was talking about earlier, now that we're sitting still, if you push both paddles in, now you're in like a neutral mode. It allows you to like rev the car, do what you need to do, and then as soon as you let go, he goes back into gear. I've driven the new Z06 driving this feels pretty similar just on a more tamer scale but driving the Z06 on a track is something completely different shifts are really smooth it's an 8-speed dual clutch Shifts pretty instant. As soon as you touch the paddle, it's already in the next gear. 
up around this corner is a little uh, straight section. So we'll down just a little bit, give it a little pull, see what it's got in it. We'll do a 40 in second. some power to it again 495 horsepower with the z51 package and probably accumulate accumulates to uh, about 440 450 wheel and the sound when it you actually get on it sounds incredible just normal driving you don't hear the sound like that like you do when you're actually on it drives super smooth on the highway on normal roads all around it's a great car drives super well all right guys so that is our first official drive of the c8 we hope you all enjoyed i'm about to hop out the car and finish talking but i wish this rain would stop because the rain is really putting a damper on things but thank you so much for watching once again comment down some more cars you'd like me to try and get my hands on i've got a bunch lined up for y'all and we hope y'all just keep tagging along all right y'all thank you so much for watching this is an incredible car i love the c8 so much so i haven't driven one in a long time first time driving one on camera super cool we love the arctic white with the black jet black interior black wheels with the red calipers it looks so sick we didn't get to like really go do some pulls and mess with the car. Zero to 60 is like 2.8, 2.9 seconds. But obviously when it's raining like this and being annoying, we can't really do mess with the car like that. Huge thanks to Rick Hendrick Chevrolet for letting me borrow the car to go film this awesome video for y'all. Make sure you come in here. If you're looking at new cars, trucks, they got everything here. And you might even see me out here. But come check them out. Go see any of the guys and they'll get you right. Once again, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Comment down some cars y'all will interview. And we'll see y'all later. Peace out. Y'all have a good one. Bye.